Hello and welcome to ClimbingNowBrist.com. In this video, we are going to show you the brand new Milwaukee top handle chainsaw. To begin with, we will give our first impressions upon receiving the saw. We will do some cutting tests and compare it with the Husqvarna T540 IXP, its number one competitor. We are then going to put it to work over a two month period, really get a handle on how this saw performs and if it can actually claim to be a professional grade saw for climbers. We give our very honest feedback to round out the video, so we hope you enjoy. I was ready to, to laugh in the face of the Milwaukee chainsaw. If I'm the only person climbing and there's three saws available. Hello. So this is actually a really exciting video for me to make because uh, I was just sent by Milwaukee their brand newly designed top handle chainsaw. So I was contacted by Milwaukee a few weeks ago um, asking if I wanted to basically get one of their top handle saws and like run it and see what I thought. Um, and I was like, what? You've made a top handle saw? <laughs> this is crazy. Because um, obviously, you know, the first thing as an arborist you think of anybody other than Husky, still, possibly Echo, uh, anybody else making saws, they're not saws for arborists. And so I said to the, the guys at Milwaukee, is this something that you're releasing just for anybody to use? Or like, what is the purpose? And they're like, no, that we've designed this for arborists. And I was like, well, it's a tall order because you know these guys Husqvarna still have been making ch chainsaws since the beginning of time and it's all right being like the the top dog when it comes to battery technology which Milwaukee you know Milwaukee D DeWalt Makita they're one of the top dogs so battery technology I'm sure theirs is like super good um, but when it comes to chainsaws and ergonomics and usability and like in the real world then they've got a tough task ahead but I'm actually excited to try out their chainsaw and see what it's got so anyway enough of me rambling this is the chainsaw so I've literally just got it out of the box and if you were hoping for a, an unboxing video then this is about as much as you're gonna get I haven't even looked at the saw really yet I haven't looked at the instructions um, so the saw came with like a double rapid charger came with two batteries uh, what's called the m18 hd12 and the xc8 so the 8 is, is smaller and lighter um i don't actually know much about their what they mean yet so i'll find out about that and stick that in the video i haven't read through the instructions doesn't seem to have come with a combi spanner or scrunch oh sugar whatever you want to call it um, so not sure why that is but anyway we'll um, get this baby topped up with oil oh no way <laughs> that is where the combi spanner is the scrunch <laughs> actually that's pretty neat that like um, so that's actually a pretty good idea because there are a few times when you're in the tree and the chain pops off and or your chain's really loose and your grounds person hasn't tightened it and it's annoying so uh yeah <laughs> good little feature that so before we start i just want to let you know kind of how i think before i even you know start using it or anything so scabbard is actually pretty good it's got a little indent in there so it clicks in just behind the the nut um, so the battery goes in the back here there's a it's like a it's a huge gap at the back um, obviously it's so that the, the bigger battery can go in as well as the smaller battery but it's yes yeah, it's a huge gap there um, and I don't know I just feel like it's exposed a little bit to the to the rain and I know that they always say you know batteries you don't, they don't want to get wet and all that kind of stuff but in reality like as an arborist working outside and so these things need to be able to work in the rain um i use the <coughs> the husky 540i xp 
out in the rain all the time. Um, so for me as a professional arborist, I expect that of something that's up to professional grade. So time will tell if that's gonna work out in the rain. Uh, I just feel like water's gonna get caught just like in the seams and kind of go around and depending on how well it's sealed, but it, I don't know, obviously there's no like rubber seals or anything to keep the water out. So that seems like a little bit of a design flaw straight off the bat. Uh, time will tell, as I said. You got the, the hook there. For your for on your harness and for your lanyard, uh, pretty standard. This little dead man's kind of throttle just looks really looks really flimsy. Um, I can imagine, you know, grabbing grabbing this the wrong way or you know putting too much pressure down there because you have to slide it forward. Um, I imagine that's going to get snapped off. In a lot of occasions, you know, if this is working, being used in a professional setting, so the amount of these get sold, I, I imagine, I don't know, there's going to be quite a high percentage of that getting snapped. But again, time will tell. It's got the handle that comes down on like a 45. Compare that to the Husky, which is a bit more kind of down at a 90. So I know the Echo has something like this and people do like that because when you're using it on in different angles, um, it seems to be a benefit. Like I mentioned at the beginning there, the, the scrunch or combi spanner clips in down there, which is actually pretty useful. A, a, a cool little design there. Um, whoa, chain brake, that feels <laughs> like a pretty powerful spring there cool that is yeah man that is that's got a strong spring in there so I'm just going to check the tension of this bar chain that feels pretty tight I'm just going to loosen that off This is the first time I'm taking the side plate off. The nut comes off, not like on the Husky where it stays on, so just be mindful. It's more like a still where the nuts come off. It's got the chain tensioner screw. Then it has another little, just like a little metal pin, and then the bolt. So I think that little metal pin is just to keep everything lined up, um, just for a, just for a secure fit in, rather than having like two two bolts and nuts it's just to help things keep keep things lined up okay so right so we've got oil in it we've got a charged battery in it all right here it goes First impressions that doesn't sound like it has much power. Let me just obviously this is like this is the best on the market, so you know we're comparing different things here. Yes, so slower pickup doesn't feel doesn't just doesn't sound like it has the same aggression so one thing to note that I've already realized is that this is an 18 volt battery Husky runs a 36 volt battery um, so um, I'm thinking the reason that they haven't gone dual battery on this is just for weight because it would probably make it a bit heavy whereas on their leaf blower they have dual battery and I think on I think I might be wrong here, but like Makita chainsaws maybe run dual 18s, but this is just a single, so uh, it just didn't sound like it's very powerful. So we'll give this a whirl in a second um, and actually see how it cuts. So I've turned this off, chain brakes off. You can move the chain on this saw just like you can on any other chainsaw. 
but on the Milwaukee with the chain brake off like you can't move the chain um, which is quite weird it's obviously the design of the motor and everything um, that'll be weird for when you when the chain gets jammed and you need to loosen it and I usually like run back the saw on like the edge of the wood or something but if that doesn't allow you to spin the sprocket that could be could be a bit tricky maybe that's why there's the the scrunch fixed on the underneath doesn't feel anywhere near as like obviously as refined as the husky we got to compare it if they're saying that this is for professionals we got to compare it to the husky um, the husky is just this is, I mean, this is a second iteration of a batchy top handle chainsaw. Um, so this is already like leaps and bounds ahead of everything else. Um, this, yeah. Let's see how it cuts anyway. And they're saying power to cut hardwoods. Oh, well, that's good. Faster than a 35cc gas saw, um, up to 25% faster, faster cuts. So I'm not sure what they're comparing that to, but no gas headaches. Well, that's good. So you're not getting fumes in your face. So that is a good thing about battery saws. Power state brushless motor. Um, I mean, Milwaukee are pretty good. Must be pretty good at this stage about uh, battery operated motors. So that's good. Uh, Red Link Plus. I presume that's the uh, how you link you can link it to your phone Bluetooth and stuff maybe I'll have to check that uh, and then red lithium high output uh, battery um, yeah there you go I'm gonna do a bit of a test here we've got the husky which unfairly has got the 200x battery in but it's it's sharp but it there's a um, I can see a couple of teeth that's tiny little bit lost its edge but it's still it's still sharp it's a, actually a pretty new chain so um, yeah X battery T540i and <laughs> I think this is going to be an absolute um, what's the term shut out wash out shut out something out anyway yeah this is uh, this is what like seven inch seven inch diameter piece of wood piece of spruce if it's if the milwaukee comes with a 14 inch bar it should be able to do seven inch okay uh okay let's here we go <clears throat> three two one <laughs> didn't have it turned on <laughs> three two one Okay, so I did three cookies there. Okay, there's no on off button on this one, so it's just go, go, go. Okay, three, two, one. Hey, that's actually way better than I expected. Seven, I mean, seven inch piece. I actually thought that was going to really struggle there, but um, especially because the sound of it when I first, you know, st set it going, but <laughs> that actually surprised me that it was better than I thought it was going to be. That test was a little bit, I don't know, in, like what I was expecting, it was way too close. From what i thought the results were going to be which is a good thing um because you always like the underdog to actually outperform better than you expected but what i want to do to make this sure this is a fair test i'm going to change out the chain on this because i said it was like a pretty new chain but it, it had had on a couple of teeth the edge had been taken off so just to make it fair i'm going to just quickly clean out this and also put a brand new chain on it so we're gonna have a um, brand new 
chain on a 14 inch bar here and then the Milwaukee has a 14 inch bar so it's going to be a fair playing field oh look at that that is absolutely chocker <clears throat> all right so we're going to do five cuts this time see how quick we can get through them with this brand new chain on and we've got the 200x battery so we'll do an x battery challenge first and we'll do the regular 200 battery and see the difference there as well okay turn it on three two one That is crazy. Um, sim like, it just seems like the Milwaukee actually has the same amount of power as the Husky, and that's the Husky with the X battery. Now, someone's got to explain this to me because um, because I know like the, what I thought I knew about batteries is that the amp hours is is how long the battery will last, and the voltage is like the actual power output. Now. The Milwaukee has half the power output as the Husky battery, yet it seems to be giving the same amount of power. And that's that's crazy. So is Milwaukee's battery that much stronger and better than the Husky that, that half the voltage can provide the same amount of output? Okay, three, two, one. Battery's dead, but that actually that actually felt no different from the X battery, which is so weird. I think one of the real tests is going to be is how long is an 18 volt battery going to last? Um, pruning may be okay. I, I know when it comes down to wood, it, sh pro it shouldn't last that long. Um, has a little in indicator light if you can see that to show the battery level it indicates red lights um yeah let's, anyway let's put it to work in the trees So another day of testing with the Milwaukee top handle. Um, so today I've got a couple of removals and it's a good day uh, for a test as well because Tim has got one of the T540Is, Sam has got one of the others. So it leaves me with the, with the Milwaukee saw. Um, and funnily enough, I'm, I'm not bothered that I've got the Milwaukee. Uh, I mean, obviously I want to do the testing but I don't feel like it puts me at a disadvantage in terms of um, efficiency and productivity and that kind of thing so today we're gonna see actually how the how long the battery will last on a couple of these removals so I've got this kind of co-dominant cedar tree there's not a load of branches on it but then I'm gonna kind of piece it down in the sections so that'll take quite a bit of, of chainsaw battery power and then I have this this cedar here the the right hand stem and there's a bunch of branches up over the top of the roof and then log uh, chug that one down as well so there's actually quite a bit of battery power needed um, for some reason I'm feeling that 
I'm definitely not gonna get both of those trees done with the one battery because I'm feeling that these batteries run out quite a lot quicker than the, the 200, but we'll see. So I'm just, oh, it was flashing for a minute, but now it's gone back to two bars. It was like flashing. Let's see if that works again. Oh, don't know what the problem was there then. Yeah, I thought that was strange because it, it didn't do that when it just runs out. So I don't know if uh, the bar just got jammed or something, but it wasn't happy so I've taken that one down and dropped all these bits I did most of the branches with a handsaw but all the logs with the Milwaukee and it's showing two bars but who knows how long that's gonna drop down to I might actually take a spare battery up this next tree with me because this definitely won't do that next tree on its own Spanner at the bottom of the Milwaukee's <laughs> just the ticket. That tree is done. So we got the first tree done, and the second tree we had to switch out the battery just near the end. Um, and this battery is now still showing four bars, so I wasn't too bad, although the husky would have definitely finish those two trees I think all right as you can see this is a couple of months on, everything's come out into leaf um, compared to the beginning of the video. So yeah, I've been testing the saw out for the last couple of months now. Um, actually, you know, I feel like I've used it enough to develop a somewhat good enough opinion without the lasting, like, you know, the longest testing to see how it really holds up from day-to-day -day use over the course of like six months, a year, two years, that kind of thing. But I've got a good handle on things. First off, um, one of the things that, uh, depends on how you, you store your chainsaw and your harness. I have the little book clip, which is like a thin, you know, a thin little hook. And with the Husqvarna, because it has the two um, attachment points, it has one, the one metal one for the lanyard, and then it has the one stiff plastic one that sticks out that you can like hook straight on and you don't, you're not like battling with the lanyard and the hook at the same time. Whereas even though the Milwaukee one is a, like a bit, like a bigger hook, still that lanyard has been and getting a little annoying, getting in the way of like stowing it. If you stow using the handle like uh, Sam does, then there's no problem. Um, but that's one little gripe that I have with the saw the battery so i've had it i think three or three times possibly four times where the battery flashes the first and the third and then the second and the fourth and so it kind of flashes what that means is that the the temperature of the battery is too high so the battery is overheating now because i haven't labeled the batteries i don't know if it was the same battery that did that every time or if multiple batteries have done that so Maybe I have one battery that's a, that's a bit more temperamental, that's a, maybe a bit of a duff battery, or maybe multiple batteries have overheated. Um, and it's happened when I've been going through the bigger wood, when I've been kind of chugging down. 
that was a bit of a surprise because it's not like it was in like high temperatures either um when we were working that was probably like end of may um maybe high teens like celsius um maybe around 20 celsius or something so not like not crazy hot um so yeah that that's one thing i noticed another thing that i said in the earlier in the video is that i was worried about the you know the big gap for the battery and the fact that it's angling down for rain and stuff i live and work in vancouver which is renowned as being like a very wet place to live but once the summer starts we get a beautiful summer so i haven't been using it in the rain so it's unfortunate i haven't been able to test how it works in the wet weather you do get like wood chip and debris and stuff in here it hasn't been a problem uh, it's just weird that you know you keep seeing debris in there it's a bit wider and when sam was using it and sam was like chugging down he felt like the the width of the saw in a certain position was giving him more of a problem than on either the husky or his he's got like the small echo but he said that because this was wider something was maybe the handle was getting in the way or something like that so the batteries don't last as long as the husky batteries um on pruning and you know just just doing branches it's fine but once you start getting into wood the battery obviously it, it gets drained a lot quicker so you need to replace the battery more often than with the Husqvarna. So the battery, the charging time of the Milwaukee is actually longer as well than it is on the Husqvarna. With if you have the Husqvarna like the the orange like rapid charger, it, the Husky battery charges quicker than the rapid charger on the Milwaukee. Um, although I, the Milwaukee do do a, like a dual charger, which is good so you can have two batteries charging at one time so if you have like multiple batteries then um that's not that's not a huge issue obviously it's a bit annoying changing over the batteries more often now i don't like the fact that the chain doesn't spin when you're not um using the throttle so what i mean by that is that you can't you can't spin the chain by hand when it's when it's not running which means if it does get like so it hasn't actually happened to me while i've been using this saw but if the chain were to get jammed like chains do you can't you can't loosen it by like moving the chain so if you if you think the chain is jammed you'll have to like undo the side plate loosen it all off um and then see if you can see if there's anything that's actually blocking it take the chain off the bar put it back on put it together and then hope that has solved the issue um so that that's yeah that one is a strange feature because if you've been using chainsaws for years you'll be you'll be used to like trying to free up the chain whereas on that you might end up damaging the motor if you try and like force it so um yeah i'm not a fan of that but that's obviously the design of the motor so i weighed both of these saws and instinctually i felt like the milwaukee was a little heavier so i weighed them both with the smaller batteries in both of them because those are the ones that i would personally use if i were climbing and the milwaukee weighed in at 5.2 kilos and the husky weighed in at 4.8 kilos ergonomics are pretty good um yeah it's, it's it's pretty well balanced uh, it's like a touch only a touch nose heavy but not like not like if you were using a 16 inch bar on a top handle heavy um it's very similar like it's very similar balanced to the husky so yeah so that's good um and i do like the the angle of that handle for the left hand that's it's good when you when you're holding the saw on the side I, I yeah i like the the design of the handle i love the design of the the combi spanner at the bottom there um and i think that's necessary like i was saying if the chain does get clogged or jammed or the sprocket gets jammed you actually need that so it's a good feature but i think it's actually necessary as well so i think a question a bunch of you are wanting to know is 
would I use this saw every day? Would I buy one of these saws? That's a weird one. Um, I would probably say, now I have the saw, I'll definitely use it. 100% I'll use it. So the way that I'll answer that is that I have two of these. If there's three of us that are climbing, I'll happily take this chainsaw. I will happily take that. I won't feel like I'm at a disadvantage using the Milwaukee against the Huskies. If I'm the only person climbing and there's three saws available, I would go for the Husky, definitely. Um, I feel like the chain, I feel like the chain on the Milwaukee is more aggressive. And I found that with the chainsaw pole pruner as well. It's, it, it feels very, like the chain feels aggressive and it's still 5.30 seconds. Um, as is the Husqvarna, but the Husqvarna seems like it cuts, it's a smoother cut. Milwaukee just seems more aggressive, so for the fire, especially for like the, the smaller pruning, when it comes to doing wood, the, Husk, the Milwaukee is very capable, um, but it's just the battery life at that point, but very capable, definitely has power, this really surprised me, like, I mean, you saw at the beginning of the video, I was like, I was ready to to laugh in the face of the Milwaukee chainsaw, but it's been a real surprise how capable this saw is. Um, I think, you know, time will tell if it la if it lasts. Is it going to fall to pieces? Who knows? Um, but from what I've seen and from what I've used it for, I've used it in pruning trees, I've used it for a few removals, um, and it's definitely lasted. Another thing is, people might think, well, you know, if you have a battery tool, then there needs to be other battery tools that are useful for me. So the good thing is Milwaukee make a like, crazy amount of tools, especially, so if you're into like DIY and all that kind of stuff, drills, table saws, any of the the contractor tools that you need. But they also make a bunch of like uh, landscaper gardening tools. So they make hedge trimmers, extendable hedge trimmers, like a combi set. So you get the the body with the battery, but then you, there's a load of different attachments like hedge trimmer attachment, strimmer attachment, um, pole chainsaw attachment. They do blower. Um, the blower's got like a dual battery setup. You might already have a bunch of Milwaukee tools, so then it makes more sense, because you, if you already have the batteries. The other thing that people may have a problem with um, is that the, there's no on-off button on the Milwaukee. So as long as the chain breaks off, you can, you can, that will go with, as long as it's got the battery in. But with the Husqvarna, you have to turn it on, take the brake off, then use it. Um, yeah, some people might see that as a safety issue. I don't. I, I'm not. I don't know if I have an opinion on that because I imagine if you're using the Husqvarna and you're making a cut, and then you know you're going to be making another cut in 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, you're probably not going to be constantly turning it on and off. Um, sometimes you will. Sometimes you'll forget. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes you might leave it on the whole time. Um, the good thing about when you turn it on is that you know it's got the display of the battery for you to see and it's also got um, the Husqvarna has got the eco mode whereas there's no eco mode on here so I don't know if you're doing pruning and you're using the eco mode then that'll help even save more battery yeah to sum it up very impressed I'll continue to use this saw would I buy another one with my own money Probably not. I'll, I'd probably still buy a Husqvarna because I think this is like, this is the gold standard. This is the benchmark. This is what every other company is trying to um, compete with. Um, but yeah, so impressed with how I how this has done over the last couple of months, and I was not expecting that at all. I thought it would be. A piece of crap. Um, I still, <laughs> I still don't know how the 18 volt battery is is putting out the same amount of power as the 36 volt battery. But that's blown my mind. I don't know about battery technology. 
hopefully somebody can explain that. Um, but yeah, well done Milwaukee.